After what seems like an eternity of drought and water restrictions, a lot of lawns in central Texas sure don't look like they used to. I know mine doesn't. Yeah, but some local scientists have developed a special type of grass that is designed to weather our hot, dry summers. As KXAN meteorologist David Yeomans explains, it's starting to catch on. I've been growing things like this for all of my life. Guy Thompson has lived in Westlake Hills for 46 years. He enjoys lazy afternoons harvesting wildflower seeds alongside his dog Shadow. I have more time for that if I'm not mowing this. This is the new native grass he put in two years ago. Native plants are native because they've learned to cope with our environment without us watering them without us doing anything. This grass, which was made to survive Central Texas summers, was actually developed right here in our backyard. Dr. Mark Simmons moved to Texas in the 90s, just as people began swapping their lawns for gravel. A man with a self-described passion for grass, he found what he says is a better solution, Habiturf. What we've got here is um, a mixture of uh, four grasses, and they're all native, and some of them aren't just native to Texas, some of them grow all the way up into Canada. Dr. Simmons says that although Habiturf has a slightly different color and texture than traditional grass, it has significant benefits. The nice thing is, if the city tells you you have to stop watering, you won't lose your lawn. A big plus for Guy and his grass. If you have a native plant, you can be much more uh, confident that it will survive, uh, even if you forget to do something important. <laughs> In West Austin, David Yeomans, KXAN News. And we are starting to see the use of Habiturf spread. Right now, the George W. Bush Presidential Library in Dallas has about seven acres of land with this grass. There are also installations in Phoenix, Arizona. And taking a closer look, the Habiturf comes with a very high price tag. The Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center charges $90 for a two-pound bag of it. And that will fill out less than 1,000 square feet. Compare that to other grasses. For $15, you can buy two-pound bags of Scott's Bermuda grass seed with water smart coating costs. Plus, uh, that's enough to cover about 2,000 square feet, but it takes a lot of maintenance and water. In our area, you can also grow San Augustine, Centipede, Bahia, and Zoysia grasses. Of those, only Bahia prefers dry and warm conditions. The fight over lawns and water will go on around here just this week because of a KXAN investigation. The LCRA said it would increase patrols to crack down on people who illegally take water out of our highland lakes through straws. You can watch our full report right now at our website, kxan.com.